Well, hello there. Welcome back to another episode of Atopia's Let's Play of the Banner Saga 2. This is currently episode 8. And we are attempting the five training missions if they allow us. I just passed the first two last episode. Let's go on for the next one if you will let us. We have to do it before Arabrunt. And apparently we're getting 12 renowned first time. We got 14 last time, so it's going to help us promote. And we get his thanks. So I'm hoping he'll give us something more than thanks at the end. But the renown at least is worth it. Well, come on in. It doesn't seem to be costing me days or anything, so yay. Well, come on in. Let's have a look at you, Sven, Sen, and Twen, whatever the trainer says. Just want to swing right? No. What can you show me? Plenty walking into the large tent. Try to keep up. Let's that last uh, lesson soak in a while longer, Seven says. I'll show you more later. You think about what he's saying. Oh, okay, so he won't give me anything now. I just have to check this time we, we start before we get there. Okay, that's fine. Maybe another time. Okay, so I guess we're going to chat to this guy. We're not going to do the training now. He lets us do two at once. You watch for a moment as... Ivan, Juno's apprentice and the Mender found nearly dead at Ridgehorn, Muse's staff in a complex pattern repairing some armour. Not a bad festival trick, right? I've seen worse. And I've seen better, like yours back in Buzzgrund with, with stopping well on. All the good it did. We saved quite a few, didn't we? Actually, I don't want to talk about it. For all the good it did, yeah, because he's still bitter over his daughter's death. Ivan watches you studying your face before speaking. I know the pain in your eyes. Remember when we left Sugarhorn? I just knew if we could wait one more day, Jonah would arrive. People were dying with your situation. That was different. We waited when no food people were dying. Every day we waited, we lost more lives because you wanted to wait one more day for her. And it's not the same because at the end of the day, she is alive. She caught up with us. She's around. This guy, Rook, has lost his daughter. It's a bit different. And you were wrong. Like you are now. You saved hundreds of lives, each one grateful for your leadership. And all it cost me was my daughter. I'd give anything to have her back. Ivan's face falls. You don't know how dangerous that thinking can be. What do you mean? You're probably right. What do you mean? Seems to shake himself from some distant memory. Nothing. Just believe me. You're protecting these people. Seeing them to safety. The only hope for the future. So is there a way? Is he getting out? There's a way to bring her back. But I have to make a major sacrifice. Hmm. Ivan picks up the, the repaired armor, hitting it with his staff to test it. I'm glad we could talk, but I need to check on the fighter who was wearing this. Yeah, because if he's really dead, it's a bit pointless. I'll give it to him. <laughs> I guess we have to use rest more to keep morale high. Yay. Noble caravan morale does not affect your heroes. Willpower in battle. Maintain significant supplies and rest in counter improve. Can I get higher? I'll do one day to chest. Marin Peru. I guess it could go higher, but I'll keep it with that. Okay, heroes laying training leave. We're gonna keep that where it is, and we leave leaving the camp today and tonight. Off the way we go. Oh, I still like the artwork of this, and I'll zoom in. Clansman for forage plus seventeen. Oh, nice. You look at all the food freshly placed in the supply carts. What's all this about? You asked. All the f oh great, I used two days up and I just got some more. The clansmen are trying to help as much as possible now, she says. Wherever they can, they'll forage for nuts and berries or fish and hunt. Nice. She hands you a piece of fruit. They may not know how to fight, but they can keep us alive by keeping us fed. Nice one, good clansman. Do I have to like stop that to happen or when you first leave they do it? Or does it just randomly happen? Hmm. Time on the cramped longships is proving too, too much for the children. The climbing ropes, interrupting rowers, and constantly leaning over the sides to touch the water. Some vile and clansmen look annoyed. Remind everyone that this will soon be over. Say nothing. Keep your kids to, by your side. We're at war to Arambard. More families. To, move families to Pacific longships. Probably the best thing. You order the longships alongside each other before revealing your plan. Some are shocked and reluctantly follow, while others agree with your decision. The rearrangement takes more time than expected, but the vessels are soon moving again, with children only climbing over those with children of their own. Stops on being annoyed, doesn't it? Ah, oh, my declined. Well, it stops on being annoyed, so...
A crowd begins to cheer from one of the longships as a man struggles with his fishing net. As he catches near the surface, some voices concern. You're close enough to make out a large shape and what looks like fur or, or hair in the net. Find out to the mass. Keep watching as the man holds it up. Release your net. Oh, fudge. Hair. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. This could be somebody like a Val or somebody who was fishing out and he's actually going to save their life. And if I fire it, it's going to kill it. Or this could be some kind of creature that's going to destroy the boat. So if I fire it, it'll kill it and save everyone. Or if I do nothing, ah, it... oh, fudge cakes. This is the, the, the description. The voice concern you're close enough to make out a large shape and what looks like fur or hair in the net. If it's hair, it should be human or vowel, correct? You don't normally get hair on other animals, do you? You don't get fur. I guess some animals get fine hair, but more likely going to be them with big beards. Keep watching as the man hurls it out. Release your net. If I attempt to release it and it is actually a vowel or a human and he releases it, the person could be, you know, drown. This could be saving a life. Oh, okay, keep watching. I hope this is right. I'm going on the assumption I believe this is some kind of vowel who's drowning. So if he pulls him up, we're going to save someone's life. If it's being the creature and I don't shoot it or release your net, we could lose this fisherman's life. Ah. Uh, keep watching. Maybe it'll give me a chance if it suddenly appears to be a monster I can fire again. If it is someone's life. Bear cup. Oh, shouts the man with the net. Long dead. What's it mean? Uh, substitutions blow across the ships. Substitutions? Substance certain, like a gale. Talk of plague and famine make eyes go wide. You notice Bovin at the bow of his ship, staring at the club and brooding more than you... Oh, there's no words, it's, it's hurt morale. Fudge. Maybe if I shot it, then when he put up, it's dead. It would have been, oh, because I killed it. <laughs> but then they say, you killed a little cub, so I probably would have released that would have been the best thing. Fudge. Maybe I should say released in that. I thought I was going to save someone's life. Morale uh, decline, but it's normal. When it goes down, we'll we'll rest up. <clears throat> it looks like we've got to reach the city first. Let's reach this place first, and I'll do it. Shouts from one of the rear longships grabs everyone's attention. The quick construction is proving faulty, and the ship is taking on water fast. With dredge on the bank and all the ships almost at capacity, you can see your options. <clears throat> bank the longship for repairs, then we're going to have to fend off dredge again. What if we can handle it? We'll be better for that, but we could lose people's lives at last time. Have the clansmen board other ships? <sighs> the trouble with that is, when we bring in more people later on, we've got less ships, and it's probably going to cause that sh ship to end up breaking quicker. Dump supplies to make room for other long, sh and other long ships. Again, we need the food. Ask ship rates for advice. Bank long ship for repairs. <coughs> I'm going to have to risk it. So thrown to those aboard the sinking longship and it's hauled toward the bank. A few dredge appear, but keep the distance. The glowing eyes and strange hums unnerve the caravan. Workers make unnecessary repairs. Okay, let's see we get here, and then I'm gonna... If it, this isn't a town, I'm gonna... Bank. Also, I wanna get away from that dredge. Well, I think this is a town, I'm hoping. Probably this section. Smoke from village catches everyone's attention, and the longships begin to slow. I doubt these scraps of wood were floating on... On can can hold many more, Ivor says. You feel the governor's gaze on you, and he slowly shakes his head. We'll help as many as we can. That th they may th they might resupply us for our trouble. You want me to turn my back on them, ignore the village, and head down now. We'll help as many as we can. <coughs> when the ships land, and a few others rush towards the smoke, but the closer you get, the stranger the situation. There's no sound of battle or people panicking to put out fires. Keep going. Is this not a trap? Is it? Keep going, Bob and Growls. We'll see what the dead are carrying. The vows a comment defies tradition, but so do many things about him. Push onto the village to investigate. Turn back to push on the village to investigate. And we're just going to be a trap, and then they're going to attack. Bring us on off the boats and attack the boats. A bit like when they got robbed us from the caravan in that town, and I went to chase them, and they stole stuff. I'm hoping it's not a trap, and we're actually helping people here. Barn is the only thing burning. No one is around. Unusual, says some kind of... Yeah, it's a trap. Fudge. Feels that way. Let's get back to the ships. Not sure, but 
Let's look for supplies while we're here. Maybe that fire trapped someone else. I guess it could be generating that one fire some people trapped. Everyone looks for buckets and water. Some vow carry a full yoks through uh, troll the dose, the barn. Yoks troll? Okay, where's it meant to be? To the dose, the barn. The door and the front wall are soon smoking charred. Remains easily kicked open. Unfortunately, there is nothing of note inside. It's a trap. After a slow trudge back to the others, Rodin stands aboard a ship, shaking his head. Some thieving bandits ambushed. Yeah, I knew it. Others took off in a supply ship. While you were on your do-good mission, he says, we will be even more crowded now. Glad you're at the helm. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming, unfortunately, but... <clears throat> if there's a chance I could have helped them, it was I guess it's still worth it. Wow. Wow, that was a big drop. Uh, yeah, if I was, I'm gonna have a rest. Get that morale up a little bit. Oh, we also see we get to train as well. No more, nice. <coughs> Try training if it's possible. Can you show me? Plenty, okay. Let that lesson start. Oh, nothing yet. Maybe another time. Okay, let's see what this guy says. The two Val look deep in conversation, but Ivor catches your eye and waves you over. So where's Ivor? Out there. So they all arm themselves and are running from something, but what? Hacker's becoming a dredge scholar, trying to understand the motives of our enemy. It's just strange that we've never seen their women fight until recently. Good thing too, we might have lost the Great War. <laughs> you think about what to say. What happened back then? Juno says there's a darkness coming. Has anyone ever talked to the dredge? Why not? Val well, looks at each other. There are rumours that some have tried and been killed in the process. A lot of nonsense scowl tales about the, the sound of dredge voices making your skin fall off. So there's been no communication with the enemy. Is that normal? We were too busy killing to worry about our fireside chat. Besides, they only ever make uh, war, warbling sounds. I guess if anyone has talked to them, it will be at the Valka. But good luck getting them to give you a straight answer. Oh good, we can ask the other things. Juno says there's darkness coming. But what Valkas say and mean aren't always the same. They speak in riddles and prophecies. Still, it might explain why the dredge are everywhere, like someone kicked an anthill. Maybe whatever's coming hit them first, or maybe it's just a new tactic for a new war. If they've learned to crack the ground and call a giant serpent, then we're all dead and just don't know it yet. What happened back then? A great deal of killing on both sides. Imagine waking up to dredge attacks every night. Back then, the sun actually set. You wake up to a sound and see nothing but glowing eyes around you. Vogyag, have you said that name? Probably told you we never get. We got close to pushing them back to the depths they call home. We 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 never got close. Actually, Ivor has never said much about the about the past. Oh, I've said nothing, just hold Hagen's stare. Well, he's probably got more stories than you could hear in your short lifetime. You think about what to say. I'll leave you two to figuring out the big issues. You should know the clansmen have been talking about us killing women and children, dredge or not. It's not sitting well with everyone, which is probably the way it should be. I say if it's us or them, we make sure we're still standing. Um bothered more by your decision to destroy Elfin's bridge. Let it go, Hakon. It was the best decision at the time. To collapse a bridge that cost thousands of thousands lives to build. If it weren't for your damn horns, Yagan, I'll swear you were an overgrown human. The two giants began trading insults and you step away letting them vent. <laughs> well, this is not fists what turn into axes and swords. They can vent as much as they want. Okay, so I have 332 clansmen, fights 2280 Val. 
I guess I should leave now, but you know what? I'm going to end the episode, and we'll leave next episode. I hope you enjoyed so far. Like, subscribe, that good stuff. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel. helps me. really like it. Thank you very much, and you're awesome for doing so. And it's time to be saying bye, everybody. Tune in next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.